<laughs> now then, the panel does look a little bit different this morning as we've got no Janet Ellis. Instead, we have the very beautiful Fina Arouche, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> or, uh, as you're becoming a better known around my local pub, Gabby from Hollyoaks. Oh, How are you? I'm really good, thank you. And presumably, oh, there's your family. Oh, nurturing and caring. Nurturing just like in kids. real life. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> How are you enjoying it? Because you're, you're... I really like it. It's nice to be in Liverpool, you know? It's nice to be home and have people kind of going, all right, kid, how are you? What's going on? I haven't seen you for ages. <laughs> it's really nice. And they're working you hard? Because you're in virtually hard, every episode. Hard, 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 hard. I've had, like, a really brilliant, explosive run, and you'll be seeing all the stuff very soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Any hints? Any hints? No. Yeah. Not allowed to say words, otherwise <laughs> they She's will. She's the same off camera as well. In the sun today, um, we have Lloyd's axing 4,500 jobs. Mm. Um, almost 3,000. Handing them to foreign. Yes, foreign... almost 3,000 of which are in Brit Britain, which um, seems seems really harsh because I thought that we'd put in a lot of money into the banks to stop things yes. like this happening. So I'm saying, where did the money go? Yeah. Where did the money go? Yeah. <laughs> Where did it go? <laughs> so people are still ending up without jobs. Yeah. Even though we've bailed out. Bank that we without bailed out. without we mortgages, out. without jobs, even though they've been bailed out. That doesn't seem right to me. Moving swiftly on before I get irate. <laughs> <laughs> OK, in the Telegraph, uh, Lollipop Man has been banned <laughs> for using this thank you sign. Apparently, the children say thank you to him when he crosses them again across the road, and obviously the, the motorists are behind the glass. So he made a lovely little sign show, extending the courtesy back to the motorists, oh. and he oh. is not allowed to use it. Health and safety. Oh. I mean, that's, that sign safety. could be dangerous. Illegal distraction. Illegal so. distraction. Illegal distraction. <laughs> what we need to do, right, is clear out the people who've done GBH and stick, stick him in the in a prison <laughs> cell. Yeah, that's right. Beat the bejesus out of him. With with <laughs> with the sign. Terrible thing to with do. With the sign. Right? Quite. So you have you volunteer for to be a lollipop. Maybe you get like one pound a day expenses or something, and, and then I you do I'd something like, like that. Such an affront to motorists. We and love lollipop. People, I'd like to be a lollipop jail lady. A lot of them. I'd like lots of blush and big hair, and I'd like to be a lollipop lady in my in my later years. I'm on my way there now. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, I think on we, the bus. I think we all suffer out, from out. every man for himself. I think mm. we've gotten we've gotten really frightened of one another. Mm. Each, each kind of subculture or, like she said, about which flag would we, would we unite under. I, I find that people often have asked me all my life, what am I, even though I was born in Liverpool, because I've got a Nigerian parent. I think there's so many complicated levels to what makes up modern Britain, whereas I think Chile is largely one type of personal person, one, t one line of heritage, much more than we've got all these different people who've come in and made this country what it is for the good or for the bad. Yeah. What would we, what would we un unite under? Also, we, 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 I mean... Do you know what I mean? I, I, could, I couldn't do that. Yeah. Oh, no. It's so... Really? I, I find yeah. it really cloudy and painful and the potentials of so much trauma. But it's... First of all, please, first of all, I don't think that's a friendly thing to even ask. Come on, if you're desperate. No, I don't think it's a friendly thing to ask. You think it, you, you, I think that the asker is very selfish in this regard because there are other means for her to get a hold of that, that particular gravy, yes. let's say. Right. <laughs> right? OK. There's other, there's other ways to go. You know, not, not to, to make light of the anguish of but then wanting you would, a child But then you would, you would then be one. getting sperm from a bank. You wouldn't know the person. Yeah, but, honey, you ain't have a man, man. Okay. You know, <laughs> the essence, the essence. Or the essence, it causes too much Stephen, problems. Stefan, would you, would you willingly go yes. with a, a friend of your wife's, it's if a, It's all of the complications oh, and, and the emotional baggage and the oh, children that come with sex and none of the, none of the fun. Well, <laughs> unless you had a whole different <laughs> relationship. No. Definitely not. Definitely not. No way. Not in this world, next world, or any world. To help, <laughs> to help, to help a close friend have a child <laughs> You wouldn't. You would. You would shut that door to her. No, I would. I would definitely shut the door to her because I think a close friend should never ask really and go that far. I think that's going over the mark of a friendship. Yeah. What happens? Like I said before, what happens if you, if the man and me get married? There will be an offspring somewhere. He's going to have to go and see that child. Anything could happen behind closed doors. That's too much headache. Can't afford it. <laughs> 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 now, Carol, thank you. Um, I'm tempted, I'm it's tempted. Just like EastEnders. I'm, it is it just like EastEnders. Like <laughs> and then everybody... Uh, Stefan and Fina will see you tomorrow. Ladies and gents, give it up for the panel. Ladies. <laughs> now, just so you two don't feel left out, particularly Stefan and you little girly man, I've got little goody ones for you. Well.